Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about ways to get closer to God. It is very important to be to have a relationship with God. And I say that because we all need him. Like we can't do anything. Anything. And this is just what I believe. You might believe something totally different, but I believe that I can't go nowhere in life without God. Can't. I have a few testimonies that I want to share on my page for a different video, but I will certainly let y'all know because I have, I might not look like it because I don't look like none of the stuff I've been through, but I've been through a lot. And it's, it's a lot of people like me in the world that's been through a lot and you can't tell. Some people can tell, but some people can't. And I'm going I'm to share my testimonies in another video. But for this video, I'm just going to be telling y'all ways to get closer to God. Excuse me. Move. Stop. I love you too. So stop. Please go on your way. Thank you. Okay. I'm just going to hop right into it. And yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> okay, so these are things that I've just started doing. I since I've been younger, I've been going to church and stuff. But I like I stopped going to church when I was like a teenager, like 12, 11 years old. Because I remember when I went to church, it used to we used to have roaches. Me and my mom and my brother, we stayed like we used to stay together and we used to have roaches. And we went to church one day. My mom had a roach in her Bible. I don't stay with my mom now, but. Just a side note, I don't stay with her, I got my own place. But my mama had a roach in her Bible and they were talking about her. And I remember it was a lady that called it out and was like, oh, that's a roach, that's a roach. And it was just so embarrassing. And I just didn't like the fact that they was talking about my mama and talking about us. I just didn't like that. That didn't sit well with me. So, so it, it got to a point where during that time I was young. But I didn't like the fact that they were talking about us and talking, to, you know, just doing stuff like that. Because that lady, I don't know if she's still alive, but I haven't seen her. I remember the last time I seen her was a few, maybe like a few years ago. But I don't know what her problem was. I didn't like the lady or her sister. Like, I didn't like either one of them. And I just, I just didn't like the fact, I mean, not the fact, but I just didn't like how they put my arm on a blast like that. Well, you might as well just say put us on blast. Like, that just wasn't right. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah. And I just stopped. I stopped going to church. And, um, yeah. I just stopped going to church all together. And I, when I was about, like, 16, maybe, like, 17 years old, I started going to church with my security guard at my school. I'm not going to say her name, but she used to work at my school and she was a security guard and she asked me to go to church with her and excuse me and um I used to go to church with her she used to come pick me up and we used to just go to church and I liked it honestly I liked that Alexander was really little like he was like younger I'm not gonna say little because that baby has not ever been little he was always a chubby cute baby tall baby so chubby, cute, and tall, baby. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah. But I went to church and stuff. And that's one thing you can do. You can go to church if you want to. You can go to church. And, yeah. Uh, but, number one is you can read the Bible. I just started reading the Bible. Like, literally, you can read the Bible and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I wasn't always reading the Bible because I didn't understand the Bible. And I used I used to literally get confused. I used to get upset because I'm like, what does this mean? Like, I can't even say, to be honest with y'all, just a sign. No, let me be close. It's a few names in the Bible that I cannot even pronounce. But I still just read the Bible because I be like, well, at least I'm trying. You know, because... But I just be like, at least I'm trying. Like, 
some of them names in the Bible I cannot pronounce, but I still say it, and I still just, to be honest, I say it in the best way I know how. Like, I was reading the Bible this morning. What was that word? Archinum? It was a name that started with an A. It was A N. I T O it was something like that. It was spelt like that or something just missing a few letters. Anyway, and I just I couldn't really like pronounce it for real, but I know I kept trying. I was not willing to give up. And I just I was just like, you know what? Let's just keep going because at this point I'm not I'm not gonna keep I'm not gonna Google every single name and try to figure it out. To be honest, I'm not about to do that, no. Now, if God wanted me to and he told me to do it, then I would do it. But until then, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but no, for real. Um, uh, you can read the Bible. And to be, let me tell you what the Bible does to us human beings. To me, the Bible, it feeds my spirit. When you, when I heard like, I didn't even hear this, but I heard it um, when I was watching the video. And it was like, so if you don't, like, if you read the Bible, it feeds your soul. Like, you become, what is it? Um, ooh, it's not coming to me right now, y'all. But it's going to come to me. And I'm going to tell y'all in a short video. Once it comes to me, I'm going to tell y'all. But I can't think of it right now. But, um, but, uh, dang, I forgot where I was at. It's alright. But reading the Bible, it feeds your spirit. It you know, it gets you very close to God. It's like when you read the Bible, you you it, you just like you just getting fed with the Holy Spirit. Like he be talking to me through the Bible. He said some some stuff earlier about judgment and stuff. And to be honest, y'all, I really pray like I believe that that scripture was about me and what they you know, what it was reading was about me and what it was saying. Not what not what it was reading but what it was saying was about me because i feel like sometimes i tend to judge people and i'm not god as y'all see i'm not perfect i'm not none of that and one of my problem is one of my problems is judging people um and yeah and i'm just gonna be completely honest with y'all and i ask god i be asking god like can you help me to stop judging people because I'm not you. I'm not you. I'm not Jesus. I'm not the Holy Spirit. I'm not none of y'all. I don't have a right to judge nobody and I feel like I just do it too much and I do it and sometimes I don't notice when I'm doing it. Like, I, I don't. And then um, he also said in the Bible it was like some it said something about um you you talked about them or something it was something like i don't remember exactly what it said dog but i remember it said something about you saying this about them but you doing this it was something like that and i was like oh so basically i can be a hypocrite sometimes like i can be a hypocrite and we honest over here y'all we is not gonna be lying over here Everybody got flaws, and one of my flaws, well, a few of my flaws is that I'm judgmental. And that's something that God is working on me with, because uh, being judgmental, that's not good at all. Like, it's really not. Um, and yeah, but um, yeah, and those are some things that God is working on with me. And yeah. <laughs> uh, so number one is that you can read the Bible. Number two, you can pray to him. You can talk to him. I tell everybody this. When I tell you, I be telling my friends this. Now, I don't have too many friends, but because I don't mess with too many people, you know, they seem like they seem. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I be telling people just pray to God because let me tell you something. I pray to him all the time, and even when I forget to forget to pray to him i still end up praying to him like i didn't pray so much to the point where if i don't pray i'd be kind of irritated with myself because i remember one time i woke up and i went to work and i didn't have a good day 
and I told my I told God later that day I'm like if I'm not mistaken so if you know I, I think I told him this but I think I did though for sure I think I did but I remember telling him like if I would have prayed to you before I started my day at work my day would have been a lot lot better and and it wasn't like I, I mean oh dang I think I said the wrong thing it's all right fine I'm not perfect y'all know that anyway if you don't let me tell you I'm not perfect so I'm gonna mess up and I'm gonna stutter on my words and that's fine but I'm gonna keep going so I'll let y'all know that side note anyway um oh funny that's why I'm funny but anyway y'all um you can pray to him you can talk to him you don't have to uh, do a certain thing to talk to him. You don't be. You don't have to be a certain somebody. No, you don't have to do that. If you want to talk to God, you can. Like you can go somewhere by yourself, close your door, and go talk to him. Or you can get down on your knees and turn around on your bed, and you can do this and get in position, and you can pray to him. You don't have to. You don't have to be a special person to pray to God. No. If you pray to him and you get that relationship with him, I promise you, your life is going to be a lot better. Like, I'm telling you, like, pray to him. He likes when you pray to him. The devil likes when you don't pray to him. That's what the devil likes. He likes when you don't pray to him. Like, he be like, like I'm telling you, sometimes, let me tell y'all some stuff. Let me just get a little personal right quick. We had 11 minutes, but it's fine. Let me just get a little personal and tell y'all my business because, you know, we, we real up here. Let me tell y'all something. When I'm getting ready to pray, sometimes I be on my phone too much, which is a problem because I would see stuff on social media and I would get too much into too much into my phone to where I be forgetting to pray. And I literally would have to throw my phone down back up. Come on. Come on, you gotta move here. Here, sit. No, sit on first. Sit, sit down. Here, sit. There you go. I would literally have to sit my phone down, or throw my phone down, and I would have to tell the devil like, "You trying to make me stay on this phone and stay on Instagram? It's not gonna work." And I'll be rebuking him in the name of Jesus. And sometimes it don't always be him. Sometimes it be me. I be allowing myself to be on Instagram for too long, knowing that I have to pray at a specific time. I don't have to, but that's what that's. It's certain rules that I set for myself. And like in the morning at eight o'clock, around like five, six in the morning, I like to get up and read the Bible. That's not what I have to do, but that's what I choose to do. So I do it. Like you know, boom, bam, bop. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, and like at like ten o'clock or before like three o'clock, anything before three o'clock, I try to get my prayers out. Um, and yeah, and sometimes I get distracted. I be on my phone too much, and sometimes it be the devil, and sometimes it be me. But anyway, yeah, another like just pray to him, talk to him, and just a reminder, y'all can talk to him about anything. It don't have to be a specific thing that you have to talk to him about. And that's that. This is the end of this video. I don't want the video to be over 14 minutes. So I'm going to end this video. And then I'm going to come back. So I'm going to see you in the next video. For part two. Mm -hmm.